definitely intriguing to be here on our own because I've never lived on my own. Um, I've been in a dorm the past two years. I always live with my parents. So to be completely on your own, having to do your cooking, your cleaning, um, meet new people, I'm going to have to learn to drive a stick shift, drive on the opposite side of the road. To do all that on your own is, is really nerve-wracking, but it's pretty awesome at the same time. We began with a two-week course in wildlife management, and we captured different antelope, sesame, and giraffe, and crocodile. It was a great experience. Um, we got to meet some really cool people. Um, we got to camp out on a game reserve. You know, As we were sleeping in the middle of the night, we could hear hyenas in the background. We heard lions once. Uh, we could hear the hippos moving right through the middle of the camp. After the two-week course, I'm doing research for six months. You know, it's a delight to have undergraduate students out in the field doing research. Uh, we think of research at this level primarily as the province of graduate students. Uh, Capstone Experience thesis project through the Honors College uh, has offered me a great opportunity. Um, I've gotten to take a two-week capture course and basically stay in South Africa living in a research house in the bush for six months almost free of charge. Because WKU and the Honors College have been so good at helping me find scholarships, I've been able to cover most of my expenses, if not all. East, 90 degrees. With these experience under my belt and on a resume, I think I stand out much better than other undergraduates who don't have work um, abroad handling animals and with their own research and doing research. And I think both John and Rachel are well poised to win some, some very prestigious national awards and scholarships which can further their future studies. You know, I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's, that's where I was born, it's where I grew up, went to high school at Bowling Green High School, uh, went to Western, which in Bowling Green, so I didn't move away for college. Uh, the first time I studied abroad was in Harlexton, England, and I went from Bowling Green, Kentucky to Harlexton, England, you know, and that was a huge change. Uh, now I'm in South Africa, right outside of a little town called Hoodsbrook. And this is by far an even bigger change. And uh, what it's shown me on a personal level is it's okay to not be in the same rhythm every single day. Um, it's kind of a personal value of saying, all right, you're out of your comfort zone a little bit, but you can adapt to it, you get used to it, and uh, you end up loving it.